Hi, Hiram here. Yesterday I did a boil test, the first boil test on this flat cat gear, the standard stove. Um, had a bunch of people plus John from flat cat gear tell me that I should do this with a windscreen pot stand. So I thought I'd do that today. Had a couple of other questions like from Beeman715. He said, what are all the fancy swirly bends of metal for inside the stove? Seems like a lot of work to build that stove, so there must be some function. Offhand, I would, the function I would say it is, is to heat up the stove faster. You know, on a normal, not a normal, but one of the, like a tea light or something, you put the alcohol in here and it burns straight up, and you try to get it to heat the side of the stove to heat up the alcohol. Well, all the heat just rises right up out of there. It doesn't really go to focusing on the stove. So I think what John was doing here was by putting the alcohol down in here and the flames are on this, the flames hit these fins and heat up the stove, which in turn heats up the alcohol more. Least ways, that's my guess. Seems to work. So what I did today was I put together a little quick and dirty windscreen pot stand. This is just ones that people make out of flashing, aluminum flashing. I made two bends on the end so that it just slides together to hold it in place. Now when I make a pot stand like this, I like to put the air holes all on one side so that you can regulate it into the wind, either more or less. You don't want the wind all blowing in here so you could turn it against the wind and try to control your stove some. <clears throat> if you look at this, these are where the legs go to hold the pot. They're just metal that's harvested out of the boating signs all along the streets. This is a good time of year for these. Now that the primary is done, or not primary, but the local elections are done, these things are all over the road. But you can see that up against that. There's about an inch from the top of the stove to the bottom of the pot. When I tried it yesterday with this, my hardware cloth, this seemed to wick a lot of the heat and was making the pot stand red hot. What I have here is a half of a fluid ounce of denatured alcohol, SLX. John said again that uh, a half of an ounce of SLX should bring two cups of water to a full boil. Of course, he's starting from 70 degrees Fahrenheit, whereas I usually start from around 60. It's more like an in-between from summer or winter heating of water. Let's light this. So I can put the pot stand right on. And then here's my two cups of water. Setting at 60 degrees. And let's see what this does. There we have 210, 211, 212 at 849, 249. Hmm. didn't turn out so hot. There we had two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Room temperature 67, humidity 61, and it brought the two cups of water to a boil. It sounds like it just ran out. Well, that was two cups of water starting at 60 degrees. Came to a boil in 8 minutes and 49 seconds. On the test where I used my hardware cloth, it came to a boil in 7 minutes and 32 seconds, although that was a one fluid ounce. This was only a half of a fluid ounce. It looked like uh, the flames were full in there. Maybe I need to add more holes here. But on the dry run, it didn't seem to hurt it. Thing is, with the holes down this low, it's kind of hard to see the flames, except when I'm looking in from the top. 
So I guess I gotta try another version here or something. Maybe one with more holes. Oh, also. I had a bunch of people telling me, why do I call this a stove? That's warm. Why do I call this a stove? Because it doesn't seem to fit my criteria for a stove. I know, this is actually a burner. But Flat Cat Gear calls it a stove, so that's what I call it. Let's see, anything else? Uh, this was only a half of a fluid ounce. So, I guess back to the drawing board for pot stands. Now what I wanted was, this pot stand is short because I want it to fit inside the pot. And these handles kind of get in the way too. So, I look, I thank you for watching. I look forward to your input on this. Your questions, remarks, helpful suggestions. And as always, watch for my buddy Max. Bye now. No, you've been a good friend. Nothing to think.